If you're like me, then you probably like RGB, and in my case, a little bit too much, as you can see. Maybe you want to be able to control your lights in and out, and maybe you're looking to upgrade or maybe to get stuff for your office, your gaming room, or something like that, and you're looking out, and there's a lot of options out there as far as LED strips go. Well, today, we're going to be talking about a possible option for you, and it is an LED strip. It's from Vont. Vont did send this package out for a review, but they do not see the video before it goes live, and any opinions or thoughts, cons, pros, whatever it is of my own now let's go ahead and get to the unboxing so getting into the unboxing for the bond led strip it's this is the 16.4 foot uh led strip that they sent out to me for review i am currently using my gopro to capture this footage i usually use my sony zp1 but i have it in a vlog setup right now um, because i'm shooting different videos and stuff so i'm using my gopro up top so let me know what you guys think of the gopro being down uh like this for a top-down shot. Now, this LED strip is compatible with your smart devices. It's compatible with who she should not be named. Um, also with Google and um, Avant Home, apparently, I guess that's their own little smart uh, home system. Now, open this up. It looks like we have a different color inside the box. We have, uh, you need chaos in your soul to give birth to a dancing star, which is a nice little quote, to be honest. I do like that. Um, these LED strips seem like, okay, so they're open back. There's no diffusion layer uh, or open front, I should say. That means that there's no diffusion uh, layer or strip or silicone uh, diffusion layer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that means the LEDs are exposed. Now, I know a lot of people like to diffuse their LEDs so there's no hot spots. I have LED strips all over my house. You can see right there that those are some goby strips that i normally use and they're all through my house and um in my bedroom in my office up here in the living room i got them all through the ceiling they're even on the sign back there and on the sign you can still see the little leds and that's pretty much what it means but leds on the goby strips do have that silicone on the outside so you don't see these little uh nodes or whatever from the actual led strips um where you can see right here you can see them just straight up so if you want to add a diffusion layer i will try to put in the description some um ways to be able to cover them to actually to evenly diffuse the light so you don't see the little le individual led uh little nodes but it's up to you if that's something that you're interested in me personally it doesn't bother me you can also just put this behind your tv or behind like a bookshelf or something like that so that way you don't see the led strips opening in this up right here this little tab which the adhesive is really good to keep the led strip inside um we got 3m adhesive uh 200 mp on the back and then this connection node, which I do like. I'm hoping that this little lip right here on the edge of it, if I can get my camera focused, uh, you can see right there that there's a little bump that pops up. So I'm hoping that is a locking mechanism because I have some LED strips um, from Walmart. Uh, so they're like $10 or something like that, where they do not uh, clamp. And it looks like I was right, they do clamp. So right here, if I can get it to focus again, it looks like it clamps right in and hooks over the top. So this is not gonna be pulled off, which is fantastic. Um, it looks like we have some kind of remote on it. These are reminding me of the Gobi uh, LED lights. Like I said, the light strips um, that I already have. It comes with the little remote on it. It looks like a power button. I'm guessing this is a changing color button right here at the bottom and in the middle might be something to cycle or microphone or something like that. Yeah, there's a microphone on the side. So these are going to be reactive uh, LED strips. Uh, you have a double sided adhesive uh, strip right here to be able to, you know, put it against a wall bookshelf or something like that. So you can have easy access to the remote. I actually love that feature and I love when uh, LED lights come with that little feature we have a small uh power brick which i also love about it because the gobi ones are actually big if you ever had any gobi led strips i'm sorry for comparing it to the gobi ones but that's what i have a double one out here and a single one out here so it goes around my whole 
my whole living room and I have one double one in my bedroom and one double one in my um my office which those are quote unquote 32 feet or whatever so it's pretty much two 16s and then a, a single 16 out here with a double 16 uh in the living room studio so I would say having these go around or wherever your room and stuff is possible especially with these um and I think with the smaller bricks, to be honest, and the long cable from the power source, and on top of that, having this being detached where some LED strips are not uh, detachable, I like having this to set them up wherever, wherever I want and not have it connected permanently. I do like that because that means if, if the LED strip goes bad, for whatever reason or you know you mess it up yourself or something like that you can always just get a replacement and then just hang it up or wherever and you have a backup power brick and supply with the controller and everything as a backup if anything and then you can just individually get you know the led strips and replace it which i personally like because that means if something goes bad then i don't have to tear everything down wherever take the remote off the wall remove the power brick and everything it's just a dud whereas again with this mechanism being able to be detached you can just replace this and that's it and you'll always have backups if this goes bad or the power brick goes bad so i think that's a neat feature i'm not sure at the time of recording if Vont does sell these individually or wherever just the strips and you could just get the replacement strip or wherever and you don't have to get the whole kit again. But if they do, that would be awesome. Um, we got some mounting points right here. If you do want to end up screwing this strip down, it looks like we have uh, four different uh, mounting options. I imagine this is probably to help go around corners if you do put it on the, your baseboards or your ceiling boards or something like that around the your corners or your ceiling or something. Um, I would not be using that feature because I do rent. So again, just the adhesives uh, up on the walls. Now with this being said, you do have an alcohol cleaning pad that it comes with. Um, you want to be an insider, get free stuff, exclusive deals, lifetime warranty. Then you go to their website and it says, thank you for your purchase. You have 72 hours to activate your lifetime warranty. 72 hours to activate a lifetime warranty, which I imagine, again, if this goes bad or something like that, then you could just, you know, get your warranty, get this replaced or wherever. A lifetime warranty. That is awesome. I do like to see that a lot of people, uh, companies, I should say, don't do that nowadays. Uh, thank you. You always have to, uh, you only get like a 90 days or something like that. But with this lifetime warranty, I do like that aspect of it. It looks like they have their own exclusive app that you download and a little bit of instructions, uh, deep dive or wherever about the actual LED strip. Um, it looks like I was kind of right about these uh, mechanisms or wherever. Again, you can screw these into the wall or just use the bottom adhesives. Uh, to help you do a hoop, a little loop, I would say, um, to be able to put this on the back of your TV. So that looks like it's it, and it gives you their Instagram, so you can uh, show off your, I guess, Vont products to their Instagram. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and scan this QR code. Looks like it popped up right away. And here we go, the product manual, updated eight months ago, so it's up to date, I would say. Uh, it's for the 16 foot or the 32 foot. So the 32 foot option, I would say get that if you want to put it around your ceiling. So it's just a way to download the actual home app, the Vont home app, as well as showing you pretty much the instructions on how to install your light strip. Okay, so on the remote, uh, I was wrong. The top one is the power. The second one is to change color. And the last one is for music mode or to adjust the brightness, uh, which is pretty awesome. Short press for music mode, follow, light follows to uh, the little mic that's on the side. And then long press, uh, you can change up to five different brightness levels. Uh, let's see, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are used in music mode. So you will have to do that. And then some reminders and frequently asked questions. So again, I think this is a very uh, extensive uh, how to guide and everything you would need to know about your strip. And then you can download the 
Google Play Store. There we go. It has a link right there and you click install. Sign me up. Continue. Accept. Continue. Accept. Enter your email. We will send you a verification code to your email. And then you set up your password. And then it will ask you for two factor authentication. I don't really care for that in my own self. Now, let me hook up this uh, LED strip. All right, so I got the LED strip. As you can see, it is currently on and we will go ahead and try to pair at a device. Allow, allow, and it automatically shows up that it is plugged in. Let's see the pairing process, 2%, 3%, and on and in five percent and then automatically to a hundred and then i'm just i'm not even going to name it um into your your password for your wi-fi so it's taken a, a little bit to uh connect to the wi-fi so now that it's at like 50 percent, i'm going to talk about the brightness the brightness seems to be pretty bright like i said for being out here in the living room with all these lights on or where for me they seem pretty bright comparatively to the Gobi lights. Now the Gobi lights do have, like I said, the diffusion layer above them, but with these lights, it seems like uh, they're bright enough. Um, I imagine if you put this on the back of your TV, a back of your bookshelf or something like that, they seem bright enough. I know I don't think I can really show how bright they are on camera, but they feel pretty bright. Uh, and the feel of them, as far as the warmth, they don't feel that warm honestly to the touch holding them perfectly fine and it seems like uh they did a good job on keeping the the warmer temperature down or wherever so i would definitely put this like on the back of a bookshelf or back of your tv if you don't have something like that already um just because of the leds being exposed like this um i know mo most people don't like having the leds exposed like this and seeing them visually um, especially like if you're having it in your game room or something. So you can put it on the bottom of your desk, the back of your monitor TV or something like that, back of a bookshelf or a TV stand. Um, maybe, like I said, around the roof of your of your home or wherever. I know some people put them on the baseboards. I would suggest just putting them up around your wall uh, going around. I would probably get the 32-inch version. Most rooms would be okay with that. Obviously, you can cut them to your length. You would cut right here on this little thing if it wants to focus there you go you'll cut right there along that line for that section and you'll be perfectly fine all right so it looks like we got the strip to actually connect i did have a little bit of issues with my wi-fi it was on my end not on bont's end i would say so it looks like we have some colorization uh changes that we can do um from blue to scion to a little bit light blue purple yellow we have the primary colors, pretty much the color wheel. We have a way to save my colors. Um, looks like you can add drag and drop colors uh, that you specifically want to use all the time. We have a mode to turn it to 100% brightness. Um, it looks like you can slide the different brightness levels. Um, let's see, music mode. We have being able to react to the music. You can change the sensitivity. It doesn't seem to be too bad um, it looks like it's in a music mode that's dynamic so dynamic is going to be a quick fast and then it will react to whenever i talk or anything like that it seems like to be able to sit there and change and react to it so we're going to switch it over to calm where it should just react a little bit more nicely this is the version that i would like I'm going to turn the sensitivity just a little bit so you guys can see it reacting to my voice. You might have to play around with the sensitivity just a little bit to get it to react the way you want it. All right. So to keep this video, instead of being like almost an hour long, going all through the different scenes and stuff that you can do with this LED strip, I want to go ahead and just say there's a lot underneath the scene sections uh, as far as different 
colorways that you can use, different lighting scenarios and everything. And it looks like there's still room for them to add even more uh, settings throughout the scenes. So you can have different lighting options as well as in the DIY, there's four different options from a uh, combo, which is just a combination of whatever colors that you want to pick from my colors uh, that you set up and you save to your profile. You also have twinkle, which this is kind of like a shooting star twinkling effect or wherever that kind of trickles the light a little bit, as well as having fade and jumping, which is self-explanatory fading in and out of colors and jumping between the colors that you want to set on the color spectrum. With that being said, hopefully this is a little bit better. I'm sorry for not keeping the whole section in, but again, this video would have been like an hour long. So thank you guys for understanding and I'll go ahead and give you back to Pasquid. All right, so since we finished that portion of the LED strip going through the, the app and connecting and seeing the features and stuff about it, I want to kind of give my own thoughts on the pros and cons of this light. Um, we're going to start with the pros. Obviously, you get a little box that has everything that you need in it. And on top of that, you can get a 16 foot or a 32 foot, which is nice. I would say 32 foot obviously would be better for um, your bedroom if you're putting it up uh, around your ceiling. But obviously, if you're using this for like a bookshelf underneath your desk, monitor, TV or something like that, then you could use it. It seems to be pretty bright. Obviously, I haven't hooked it up to anything really in my house. I'm not sure where I would actually put this since everything pretty much has RGB all over it already. But I definitely would find a use case scenario for this um, and then obviously use it. I think the actual clip or wherever for the led strip um, having this mechanism where it actually clips and if you pull on it or wherever it's not coming apart um, but having that clip to be able to remove it or wherever i do like that um, so it's not like damaging uh, the led strip or something like that and if i need a replacement with the lifetime warranty um, then i can obviously just ask for a new led strip they'll send it over and obviously it's a lifetime warranty so that's pretty cool um, and i do also like the little remote mechanism that you get with the led strip that has the functions and the mic and everything like that i do like that but yeah the lifetime warranty is great now moving on to uh Another pro, I guess you could say of it is obviously having the app where you can change different scenes. Um, I imagine they're probably going to upload more different scenes or wherever to be able to do that. I think another pro would be that you can make your own, uh, obviously lighting specifications to whatever colors you want and making your own little scene that you would like. Now talking about all that good stuff. I have to talk about some cons. Now I'm gonna put the price on screen for this LED strip. And I'm gonna tell you right now around this price point, you could probably find some other ones. Um, you can go ahead and go to Walmart and pick up some ones they have. Although the ones at Walmart, at least their Walmart brand is not gonna have all the functions or the functionality, whatever, as this LED strip. So obviously it beats those but there are some other ones that are being sold as i mentioned the Gobi ones that i've gotten for walmart for a little bit more pricey uh i guess higher price point but these are functionally almost the same i would say and obviously the build quality is pretty good on them and everything like that for the price point of these so it's really up to you you know you don't really have the convenience of these being in walmart you obviously have to order off like amazon or maybe their website whereas you can go into walmart and pick up led strips or whatever at varying price ranges i would say so that's kind of a con if you want to say it's a con uh but other than that um i i don't really have anything other as far as cons go, the only other thing I would say is the actual exposed LEDs like I talked about before. I know that's some cons to some people. Me personally, it doesn't matter. I, I, I just want the color. I don't care about seeing the actual LED, individual LEDs. Some people do. Again, I will have something in the description, hopefully, that you can use to diffuse the lights or something like that. But you can look it up on Amazon, LED light diffusers. Um, and you'll probably find ones for LED strip that you most of the time you have to cut those to length though. It's up to you what you want to get. I would say if I didn't have the Gobi lights, yeah, I would go with these. They work with obviously your 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 assistants, whatever ones you want to use. And if you already have their ecosystem or you want to get into the ecosystem, then you already have, you know, LED strips to go with it. So 
that's just my thoughts and opinions. This is my first time kind of doing this type of video. So just let me know what you guys think overall. And with that being said, uh, you can buy this in the description down below. It will be a link to it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love. Thank you.